Florida State University junior Molly Gordon wanted to go beyond the classroom to further her interest in biology. So she took the initiative to connect with a few research professors here at FSU. Your hands over the dish, so that's her determination and hard work is producing results both in and out of the lab. I started doing a DIS, which is a directed independent study. And um, I was trained by a graduate student, Zhao Sima, and she helped me learn all the basic techniques you need for molecular biology. And she just made everything really approachable for me because I thought I was going to be very lost as an undergrad, but um, she really made it very accessible. And then from okay. that experience, I morphed our project into an honors thesis for myself, and she's been helping me with that also. Gordon works with stem cells, and it's an opportunity most undergraduates don't get. Under the direction of Professor David Gilbert, she's narrowed her interest to cellular and molecular biology. Her honors thesis, Understanding the Role of DNA Sequence in Replication Timing, has helped Gordon reinforce what she's learned in the classroom. One thing that I really like is how much research solidifies all the topics that I've learned in my classes. So um, maybe I learned it in introductory, in introductory biology and um, went back and learned it in the lab and then now I'm in a higher level class like cell structure and function and it makes so much more sense actually having a chance to do the research that we're talking about in class. The Hollywood, Florida native is passionate about the help she's received from her mentors and colleagues here at Florida State and credits their support during the process to expand her studies. I really like the academics here at Florida State. I think the professors are some of the greatest people I've ever met in my life and they're just always willing to stay after class and talk with you and you go to their office or you find them somewhere in their lab and you can ask them anything and they're willing to help you even outside of the coursework so you can go and ask them about um, career advice or just anything personal you want to talk with them about and they'll never really shoo you away. They're actually really inviting and then they'll care whether or not you're they want you to do well, and if they see that you're struggling, they definitely want to help you. With her dedication and the guidance she received from the Office of National Fellowships, Gordon received the prestigious Goldwater Scholarship. This highly competitive award goes to exceptional students in the science, technology, engineering, and mathematic fields. It made me feel really good, and um, even just getting to be one of the four from FSU to represent, um, it made me feel like my university had a lot of faith in me and they supported my research, which felt really good. And I wrote some thank you notes to the committee members, so it felt more personal, like I could thank them for their support and their help. And um, then obviously winning at the national level was quite an honor and I'm really glad to see my name there on the website. And it just makes my dream of graduate school seem a lot more realistic and approachable, bridging the gap between here and there. So Molly spoke to me about her research and one of the things that struck me immediately was her ability to take very complex scientific concepts and explain them to an educated layman such as myself in a way that was not only passionate, which displayed her clear desire and excitement around the project, but in a way that demonstrated the broader applications of the very specific work that she was trying to do so that I could get excited about the work with her. With an impressive list of scholarships already under her belt at Florida State, Gordon says that receiving the Goldwater Scholarship in time for her senior year will help her fund the culmination of her honors thesis and eventually propel her to a graduate career in research.